Hi everybody, I'm Mike Mercurio. And I'm a partner with Offit Kerman. Today I have the pleasure of sitting down with my friend Janice Tippett. She's the owner of Millennium Marketing Solutions. What do you attribute your entrepreneurial or business mind to? You know, a lot of people want to do design, perhaps, or other related industries, but everybody wants to own a business. Did somebody have an influence on you, your parents or a mentor? You know, I don't. I, I go back sometimes and I wonder where I get it from because yeah. nobody in my family really owned businesses. Mm -hmm. I think maybe uh, the ability and desire to be in control. Okay. You know, the <laughs> entrepreneur, let me control my destiny, let me have my freedom. Um, so I really enjoyed that. Um, and I and I have realized over the years, as much as I love art and graphic design, I really love the idea of running a business, okay, solving problems. I'm a big believer that most of the information we need to be successful in mm -hmm. life is is out there someplace. Mm -hmm. People have already accomplished things. We're just waiting for us to discover. You just mm -hmm. got discovered. So, you're a successful entrepreneur. You're a successful business person. Mm -hmm. What would you tell somebody that was contemplating getting involved in business mm -hmm. or being an entrepreneur? What are a couple things that they should know at the outset? So, okay, one thing at the outset is have a passion for what you're doing, yeah, you know, okay. um, and also find good partners. Mm. So um, finding a good peer group, whether we're members of TAB, yep. so finding some, a, a group like TAB, finding a good attorney, finding mm -hmm. a good accountant and a good yep. banker. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you know, years ago I got in, into the business, had a lot of passion, um, and that, that gets you really far. But then if you want to continue to grow, like I said, owning my own building was a, was a big, big personal and professional uh, yep. move. And it took a, years of working close with an attorney, a banker, yep. and an accountant. Yep. Um, my banker, my attorney, and my accountant became extensions of my business. When we would have holiday parties, they would come because uh, they, they are critical in making yeah. your decisions. And then every decision, whether it's personal or professional, especially as you continue to grow, you bring in your accountant or you bring in mm -hmm. your attorney. Because as a business owner of a small, closely held business, um, it, the personal and the professional start to blend over. So you want to make sure that you're doing yeah. things appropriately. Um, so there's that part of the business, but then the other part is is always looking to solve problems and always have another goal <coughs> or another another mountain. What's the next step? Um, and, and years ago, I remember when I first purchased the printing company, I, I was at a convention and one of the gentlemen there was talking to me and was saying the business was rapidly growing. And he's like, that's great because if you're not growing, you're slowing. Yeah, true. So I always keep in mind, what's, where are we growing next? The next quarter, next month, next year? Where are we growing and how are we growing? Where are we going to go there? And what's happening out in the world? Mm -hmm. And keeping your eye on that.